if you're a software engineer in a company and you're not a DevRel, maybe uh, it's not obvious for you why would I tell everyone about my code. Again, uh, promotion, promotion wise, it's very important that everyone knows uh, what you're doing and why you're doing that. And uh, of course, you want to show uh, the actual evidence of things that you uh, that you've done lately. The researchers show that uh, engineers are getting more involved into making decisions. Uh, they are more influential on what technologies uh, their company going to use and whether to pay for your code or not. So that's clear. You might be doing tons of different interesting things. You can you can do uh, uh, the thousands of different uh, interesting open source projects. But if you're not talking about those, no one would ever learn about those. Uh, so it is important. To do. And especially right now, it's very easy to do. You can do live streams, you can do podcasts, you can do um, any type of recordings. And there's a great communities around this. People will, you know, take something you say and will... Uh, show this to other people. This is how you create this kind of conversation. You know, we are not living in the box where we create some product just for only for ourselves. We write a code for other people. And most probably you create some product and this product uh, brings some value to people, to the customer, solve their problems. For that reason, you have to speak about what you done about your code. We need to remember that we are the stars of our own story, but much less so for other people. When we think about what we do, for us, it's the most important thing. But for other people, it's obviously not. Now, it takes an, an effort to keep thinking about ourselves as other people see us and think about us. But this is critical because in the end of the day, we are dependent on other people and we want them to see us in the best light. So we did something. For us, it's obvious that it was such a big thing because we invested so much in it and it was a big effort for us. But other people don't know about it. They don't think about it. They don't pay attention to what other people to them, which is us, are doing. So it's important to make sure that they are aware of what we are doing, what have we achieved, what do we know, what do we think, and how good are we? If we won't tell other people how good are we, they probably won't notice. I tend to think about the different periods in organizations. Sometimes it's a uh... Uh, peacetime, sometimes it's work time. And depending on uh, whether you're um, in a peacetime where you can spend time on brown bag sessions, educate your colleagues or learn from them, doing some uh, book clubs, etc., etc., um, and uh, you can build an expertise together in your team, then um, I would say tell people about your code because you want to grow, to grow and evolve uh, within your group with your teammates versus when it's work time and it's just crucial that everyone knows what you're doing, why you're doing that. Um, otherwise, your uh, company going to just fail. You need to show your code just because um, you need them to know how to use it. You can advertise your work in different ways and, and it depends what really is the audience. Do you want to do it for wider audience? Do you want to make sure that industry realizes how awesome are you and recognize you for your efforts? Or you can do it inside your team or maybe inside your organization. Well, obviously, the later is much simpler than former and it's kind of a building block. So it's a good idea to actually make sure that you talk about your accomplishments in the correct setting. For example, if you have a retrospective after a Scrum Sprint, it would be a good opportunity for you to show off with what you did. Obviously, um, be honest, be humble, but in the end of the day, also make sure that you name what you did and actually show what you did. Um, that works for your visibility inside the team. Inside the organization, there might be settings 
in which it makes sense as well. Just think about those doors opportunities and seize them. If we are talking about industry level recognition, um, you need to make sure that people know uh, what kind of professional you are. And this could be done through social media, through speaking and appearing in meetups and conferences. Um, and you know what? Writing a book, um, writing a blog post and uh, participating in, uh, in podcasts like we are doing right now. There are a lot of opportunities out there. First of all, put your code to GitHub. Create open source community. Uh, open source community is very active. Create a project, speak about your project. But there is a very important part. You have to speak about your project. Deliver some talks on meetups. I know a lot of user groups, community, meetups. It's super safe place. It's not like a big conference where you have to deliver the world-class talk. On meetups and community, you can speak exactly what you did with your code demonstrate your code and show how they can solve some problem for the community. Another part, how to do it. First of all, you have to create something outside of your, again, your box, create a blogging, like to work in social media. When I say social media, I mean, you can create a blog post about what you deliver, what your code is and what you uh, what you done in your job. Writing in-depth uh, tutorials, for example, create a video about your product. In my opinion, currently video is more and more important because people prefer to watch video tutorial to understand how it works rather than just like read a lot of information because to write a good text sometimes can be terrible and difficult. Blogging with social media, YouTube, uh, Twitter, or now it's X, uh, Reddit, speak with people to show what you've done, it's very important. Demonstrate your quote and get the feedback from the audience. <laughs> Everyone has opinions these days. Uh, everyone has access to uh, social media, so people can go and talk about their stuff. Uh, just uh, create an account in one of the social uh, social networks. If some people uh, take the controversial route, they, they like to uh, provoke people. So in this case, they'll create the conversation and create the buzzness and kind of like uh, um, the viralness of, of this type of conversations, but um, that's the personal choice. Uh, don't try to be shell, don't try to hide uh, something behind your like public appearance, be authentic because people can read when you're not uh, authentic and you try to pre uh, pretend that you are not someone. Um, that's probably that advice uh, would be. So be authentic and not try to pretend that you know everything and you're smarter than everyone. Even if you do, uh, have some humility, have some empathy and try sometimes, you know, most important part of the conversation, not when you're speaking, but when you actually listen. I have tons of advice on how to become a better speaker just because it's it's a big part of what I do. So obviously I have opinions on that. And I would say there are a couple that are really, really critical. Um, the first is practice makes perfect. Before you deliver your first talk or not your first or a hundred talk, it doesn't matter. You have to practice it. And the more you practice, the better you will get. And um, it's true for a first-time speaker, it's true for experienced seasoned veteran. If you have a new content, you have to practice it. That's number one. After you practiced, you watch the recordings of your practice. It is very annoying. Everybody hates seeing themselves and hearing the smells. But this is very, very useful. You learn a lot by watching yourself and seeing the mistakes that you make. Um, very nice life hack is speed up your uh, recording to 1.25 or 1.5 speed. Um, it will save your time and because the pitch of your voice will change, it will annoy you much less. So this is how you watch yourself without being constantly annoyed by your own voice. So yeah. Practicing, learning from the practices. That's very, very important. There are a bunch of great books that um, teach you how to communicate your thoughts. 
my personal um, favorite way to communicate my thoughts or ideas is communicate those through stories. So that's why Made to Stick, one of my favorite books that I like to recommend people to read about communicating ideas through stories, because stories and anecdotes can deliver much more information and can stick in your um, the in your audience much much better than just a simple facts, because people don't make any assumptions about the facts. People will not remember facts, but they will remember good stories. There are different approaches of how you can build a compelling story, and there are books about it and, 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 and what's not. Uh, one of nice, simple, and constantly working ideas, it is what is called a journey, a hero journey. Um, most of the stories that you hear are built in exact same way. There is the hero that goes, that has a setting in which something bad happens. And then, or uh, the, the hero has a challenge. And then they uh, go to a journey to fix that, to achieve their goal, to do something that they need to do. And they encounter multiple challenges on their way. Uh, and in the end of the day, they achieve their goal and they become better because of the journey that they took. Now, you say, and, and you can think about endless examples of, of this, starting from the Lord of the Rings all the way to Bible and everything in between. And you might ask what it has to do with um, me being uh, telling a story about uh, software engineering. It's exactly the same thing. I had this problem technical problem and I tried this and I tried that and I learned this on the way and I learned that by, in the way this is how in the end of the day I fixed it and now I know more now I'm a better software engineer because of the journey this is hero's journey applied to our work and it works just great And you might say, you know what, why would I invest in that when I don't see the immediate value? But those kind of investments are a long-term game with undetermined value. It means that today you invest in writing a blog post and tomorrow you invest in recording a video that shows your work. And then a couple of years down the road, someone that saw this video or, a, or read this blog post might want to hire you to a better position. Those investments pay off, they pay off in the long run, and if you don't do them now, you might be sorry um, later that you didn't do it. So um, my recommendation would be, make sure that you do those kind of things, that you brag humbly and honestly, I'm not saying like telling lies about yourself, but, but just showing off your work um, in a larger environment, so social media, in blog posts, in YouTube, um, etc.